What up guys, Spider Benjamin Miller bringing you the review of the Ultra 2. A lot of people's favorite cowboy fantasies, if you know what I mean. Starting out with the externals is a very pretty beautiful blaster. It's nice how it actually feels and looks like a revolver. You can actually feel just like the vibe. Only they had a hammer back here. But no instruct barrel lug. You have gold ultra on this side, but sadly on this side where the battery tray is, there's no gold and barely any paint. Go fake, Hasbro. But you got the old nice Ultra 2 and the Nerf Signia on there. Why did I say Signia? Then on this side, you have a jam door. So if there is a jam, which they are kind of common, I've jammed this decent, but not a whole lot. You can just get your fingers in there and clear out any jams. I have not really had that many to the point to where it's a terrible blaster, but it's a really good one. And then back here, we have the coolest part, the loading door. Now this is probably the most unique loading system in a Nerf blaster yet. So you get your Nerf darts or, you know, the crap ultra darts. You just lower it and you just stick them in there. Now the cylinder actually works really well in its loading system. It is a very unique system, I'd say, because it works pretty well for what it does. And down to the trigger, the trigger pull is pretty okay. It's unique though, because when you prime it, when you shoot it, you see, I'll just shoot off one. You see, you saw how that worked. It has like a little tooth in it that hits a little, there's a one blaster that did this that I can kind of describe. It's um, a, the, that wrist blaster, I can't remember what it's called. I'll probably have like a picture of it, but it's a unique pusher like that, that launches the darts and it works through all this. Now but down to the grip. The rev trigger is pretty okay. And a lot of people do not like the grips, ultra grips. They're okay to me, but I gotta tell you something funny. So I showed my friend Web Warrior JP the grips and he was not happy. He was not happy with this grip. It is a very unique grip. And on some of them, like my good old Ultra Strike over there, it's perfect. But that is an external overview of the Ultra 2. Now I'll show you it firing. Starting off with the regular Ultra Darts. You're gonna laugh once you see how accurate these things are. <laughs> Can't get used to that. Now switching to the AccuStrike Ultra Darts, which are way better and highly recommended. If I can find one, I will put in the description below, but... That's so perfect. Now miscellaneous of both types so you can see which one is the best, but clearly we all know which one is the best. So what are we doing? I'm pretty sure you all know the winner. Firing the Ultra 2 is actually quite a blast. It's really, this is actually one of the only Ultra Blasters that I wanted to get after I got the Pharaoh because it's a unique pistol. It's a very, very fun one. And definitely makes you feel like a cowboy just spinning this, loading it, it's just awesome. Now that is all the objective information that I can really provide on it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the little firing demo. Might get into that a little more, but now my personal opinion on this. Overall, I actually really do like it. Now would I use it for every war? You guys know the hammer shot can't be beat, so um, yeah, get the frick out of here. <laughs> but on that note, it is a really good sidearm. It's, I've seen these dual wielded once by Aaron Esser, and you can watch some of his videos by clicking up there. But it's a very unique pistol, it's fun. The grip is honestly just a gripe for a lot of people. And one thing that I will say, when you fire this, be deliberate on the trigger pull. It's like I said, because hopefully you can see right here. That is how it fires. It hits down and it pushes the dart to the trajectory. Now, does that work pretty well? if you have a right trigger pull. I've had a few jams with this, mainly just because sometimes I'm not deliberately pulling the trigger. 
So that's always something to keep in mind, but besides that, if y'all want to purchase one, I can put one in the description box below, or just, uh, hopefully your store still sells them. I had to get this from a toy store in my mall, but thank you guys for watching, guys. See y'all later.